All right, welcome back to The Hedge with Double D. The Hedge with Double D. Thank you all for joining me. Excited to be back. Um, We have our final college football preview before the season starts. Uh, We've done the SEC. We've done the Big Ten. So if you missed them, go back and look for those. Um, Today we're doing kind of just some of the more, some of the what's left, some interesting stuff of what's left that I feel more confident than the others. So... We're going to look at some of the top ACC teams. We got Clemson, Miami, and Florida State. And then we're going to look at uh, Notre Dame and Colorado, two other teams that are just kind of popular teams that a lot of people follow. So um, let's get to it. Let's start with Notre Dame, Um, a very popular team. A lot of people are watching them, a lot of people betting on Notre Dame all the time. Their over-under is, or their win total is 10 and a half. So ten and a half wins for them this year is what it's put at. <clears throat> I was kind of going back and forth um, because I was also looking at Notre Dame just to make the playoffs. Um, so to go over ten and a half wins is plus one forty, and to make the playoffs is minus one seventy. So obviously. Um, the odds makers are think it's more likely that they'll make the playoffs than win 11 games. And I'm on the same, I kind I think the same thing. Um, looking at their schedule, I think they're going to win 10 games, but I still think they're going to make the playoffs. So I'm basically, I was thinking the same thing as the odds makers here. Um, <clears throat> I think I just don't fully trust them that they're going to win these big games. Um, they're going to slip up somewhere in the middle here. Also, I think between, Louisville, Stanford, maybe. Um, but um, I think they win, you know, one, they've got three ranked games, and two of them are 20 Texas A&M and 23 USC. So they don't have the toughest schedule. Um, but again, I think they're going to slip up in the middle there and end up just winning 10 games. They'll win most of their games they're favored. Um, and 10 wins is definitely going to put them in the playoffs. Um you know, whatever, ratings-wise and everything. Notre Dame's going to make it into the playoffs with 10 wins, I feel like. Um, you know, kind of around that, like, 8 or 9 seed, something like that. Um, so, um, I think, like I said, <laughs> under under 10 and a half, I think, is a good bet. Um, and to make the playoffs at minus 170, I think that's a good bet. Um, if you look at, like I said, minus 170, I guess, if you look at... Um, if you can want to join a couple to make kind of some better odds. Um, earlier, I was kind of just looking at, I feel like Ohio State and Georgia are absolute locks to make the playoffs. I mean, it's going to be surprising if they lose two games, but even if they lose like three, they still might make the playoffs. Um, so they are at Ohio State minus 650, Georgia minus 600, and you might even find better odds on different sites. But if you just put those together, you're going to get like minus, here, minus 280, 289. Obviously not the best odd, but for something that feels like such a lock, that's pretty good odds. Um, and if you want to put Notre Dame in there, all three of those, which I feel very good about all three of those teams making the playoffs, you're getting plus 113. So you're getting positive odds there. So you're getting plus money. Um, so those are two both, excuse me, those are two bets um, I'm going to look into before the season starts. Maybe look around and see if I can find better odds for Georgia and Ohio State. Um but again, those are I feel very confident about both of those picks um, for a little season long plays there. Um, so that's Notre Dame. Let's move on to Colorado. Colorado, um, obviously a very interesting team, an extremely highly bet on team. Um, I don't get the people betting on them to make the playoffs or national championship as you know crazy long odds. I just completely a waste of money in my opinion i just don't see any chance any of that happens um their win total is set at five and a half so obviously the odds makers agree with me they might be interesting and fun to watch and you know i cheer for them kind of i don't know they're fun to watch um but i don't see them going anywhere um 
they're going to lose most of their games in the middle and towards the end. Honestly, I think they lose six of their last seven, maybe even all seven, but let's say they lose, they win one game of their last seven. That means they got to win all five of their first five games, which is not going to happen. So I just, I don't think they're going to win four of them. Um, they start off with North Dakota State, you know, which is kind of a, you know, obviously a scary team to play. Um, so not, I don't know, not a great idea to schedule them first. And then you go to Nebraska and you got your rival Colorado State. And then it goes into the, your tougher games with Baylor and then a bunch of ranked, kind of higher ranked Big 12 teams. But I, I don't see them winning, like I said, any of the games the back half of the season. I could see them losing two, if not three of their first four. So I just, I don't see any way Colorado gets above five and a half wins, um, which is funny because the over for five and a half is minus 130 almost. So the under has got to be positive odds there or at least closer. Um, so good. I mean, look at that. Take the money, take the better bet, take the under five and a half. That seems like a I'm pretty sure bet to me, honestly. Um, they did not get much better, if any better, I'd imagine. They still have too small of a line to do anything. You know, they've got basically two good, two really good players, and that's not enough to do much. So, moving on to the ACC. Clemson, Miami, and Florida State. Uh, we'll start with Florida State. They are basically favored. They have the the best odds to win the most games. We'll put it that way. They're at nine and a half for their win total and over to take the over is almost even money plus one Oh four. Uh, Miami's at nine and a half also, and they're at plus plus one twenty eight. So Florida's got Florida state's got, you know, what seems like a better chance, I guess, lower odds, um, higher odds, however you want to say it, um, to get to 10 wins. <laughs> Um, we'll start with Florida State, but I'll go ahead and just say I think Miami has a better chance to get 10 wins in Florida State. I am taking the under 9.5 for Florida State here. Um, pull up the schedule. <clears throat> um, one of the, re the thinking, excuse me, thought process here, one of, I don't know, my thought process here is, uh, you know, they went undefeated last year. They won the ACC. It's really hard to repeat. It's really hard to go undefeated. They're definitely not going to go undefeated again. So it's going to be hard to win some of those closer games again. Um, I'll just say you're going to lose. You know, if you have a good year of winning close games, the next year you're more likely to lose those. Turnovers are going to go down. And obviously their team is very different than last year. Um, they go to Miami <clears throat> for that game. Um, they go to Notre Dame, another tough game. Um, and they also have to play Clemson. So they've got three, you know, three of those tough games. Even if they win all the other games, then they have to win one of those tough games. I did, I see them either slipping up somewhere or just losing all of these. Um, so I'm taking the under for Florida State. Um, under nine and a half, I think they win nine games. Maybe drop down to eight and lose one or two that they shouldn't lose. Um, a couple upsets here or there, maybe like at Duke or something. Um, so yes, sorry Florida State fans, I'm taking the under there. Um, like I said with Miami, moving on to Miami, I like the over for Miami. I think Miami <laughs> is your ACC, at least regular season winner. Um, We'll see who I, I you know, obviously, I think they're going to win the ACC, especially the regular season. And with that, I think they're going to make the playoffs. So Miami at over nine and a half wins. Um, their odds are plus 128 there. So I'm taking that. And to make the playoffs is plus 210. <clears throat> so I think Miami with 10 wins, 11 wins is a very good odds to make the playoffs. So if you're getting plus 210, you might as well, you know, take that. If you're going to get the, uh, if you think they're going to win 10 games like I do. So Miami, I'm taking them as the ACC representative in the playoffs. Um, maybe the ACC gets two teams in there if, you know, Miami loses the ACC championship game or there's another highly ranked ACC team that they beat in that game, um, which would have to be probably Florida State or Clemson. And speaking of Clemson, they are at eight and a half. 
uh, over under for their win total. <clears throat> Taking over eight and a half, you're getting minus 172. So odds makers think it's very likely that they win nine games. Oh, man, I was going back and forth on this one, but I'm going to disagree and I'm going to go under with Clemson. Um, last year, they were really bad at the beginning of the year. And they seem to put it together, and they won, like, their last five, and they looked a lot better. You know, they beat Notre Dame. Um, but I just I just don't trust them. I think they're kind of more of on a down projection. Um, they've got the good – they've got a good defense. They're going to have a good defense and good front seven. I don't really trust Klubnik completely. I don't think their offense, you know, he doesn't have a lot of weapons, especially a receiver. I don't think their offense is going to put up as much, enough points. They're going to be in close games with their defense, and I think they're going to drop a couple close games and only in, only end up winning eight games for the regular season. So taking the under for Clemson, which you're going to get good odds because the over is at minus 170. So you're going to get good odds on the under for that. So, again, I'd like Miami to win the ACC, Miami to make the playoffs. And I like Notre Dame. I wonder if you could add those together. That'd be a, probably good odds there to take the under. But again, I like the under, under for Notre Dame. But I also like Notre Dame to make the playoffs. I like them to win 10 games and make the playoffs still. Um, Colorado, I like the under for Colorado. And I like the under on Clemson and Florida State. So, there we go. Thank y'all for joining me. We are oh so close to football season. I can taste it. Oh, man, I can't wait. Thank you all for joining me. Um, and the actual picks for the first um, for the first game, sir, will be coming out soon. So look out for those. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.